What's going on guys? Nick Hellman here aka the Crypto Hitman. I got the Floki chain on but we are not talking about Floki today. We are talking about their sister project TokenFi. And why are we talking about that? That is because their launch pad is launching today. And on the inaugural launch they are going to have a project that is raising in just under an hour called YakDAO. If we scroll up here you go to the official TokenFi Twitter, see the tweet. The YakDAO token sale event will start at 8 p.m. UTC today, March 28th. 2024 supporting several wallets and there will be a maximum of 500 usdt per wallet on the arbitrum network remember arbitrum uses ethereum as the gas token but the fees are very cheap somewhere around 10 cents per transaction the total hard cap is only ninety five thousand dollars so you will need to be quick if you want to get into this public round of yakked out over on the token five launch pad now if you miss this allocation don't fret they are launching their token april 2nd on uniswap on the arbitrum network with a juicy and a fat liquidity pool that may or may not lock the liquidity using the Flokify locker. I love this collaboration. I love this partnerships and I love how Tokenfy and Floki and all their products work together to really provide value for Floki holders, token holders, and soon to be Yax holders here with their launch pad. All the information is on this tweet. The official links are on this tweet. And yes, it is powered by the token to utility token. So remember guys, 500 USDT max on Arbitrum network per wallet to get into the YakDAO Yax token. If you need an easy way, say you have USDT over on BSC, but you need it on Arbitrum, I would check out multiswap.network. This is an interoperability DEX and bridging tool that will allow you to get your tokens on from BSC to Arbitrum with the click of a button, just like you're making a trade on Uniswap, on PancakeSwap, or any other DEX. It feels the same, the slippage is near zero, and they will be there in a flash for very little fees. You will only need the gas fees from BSC, for example, if you're making that transaction. Check it out. There may or may not also be an airdrops for users of this platform of the swap token in the future. I don't know. A little birdie might have told me something. Maybe you should use it, and this is a good opportunity to use it because you need that USDT on the Arbitrum network in order to participate in the launch of the token by Launchpad. Now let's quickly look at what YakDAO is because you should not put your money into any pre-sales without doing any DD. Yes, TokenFi did some DD, but you need to do your own research. YakDAO is in the RWA sector. That is why it fits perfectly with what is going on in the market. RWA is hot. TokenFi is RWA. That is why I love this collaboration and YakDAO is just that. YakDAO already owns a property worth over $500,000 in Brevin, North Carolina. It already has uh, yurts on the property. It has a stock lake and people on Airbnb, VRBO, uh, Travala, D-Travel, and the list goes on, can all actually book and stay in this glamping campsite right now, right here. Now, the fundraising for this tokens is going to generate a lot more hype, a lot more buzz, but also capital. They are utilizing that capital to build out this property even further, putting more units, more domes for individuals to rent. And guess what? A percentage of the revenue that is brought in from this property and all future properties is given back to Yax token stakers and also used for buybacks and burns of the Yax tokens. Everybody in the TokenFi community and the Floki community knows how beneficial these buybacks and burns can be for the holders and for the price appreciation of their individual assets. We have seen Floki burn tons of their total supply. We have seen a token starting to burn and is going to be burning even more with the fees used and raised on this Launchpad protocol. We wanted to do something very similar with the Yaks token. That's why I'm excited to help uh, advise the YakDAO project and what they're doing to integrate token utilities that have found so much success with two of my favorites floki and token and bridge them over into the yax token with a real world glamping site this isn't a promise they already own it there is no mortgage there is very little overhead and yes you can book and stay at the property right here right now i think the yax dow uh, Yax token has a, a massive upside potential, very small initial market cap, sub $1 million initial market cap, very small, fully diluted market cap. They were 1200% oversubscribed for other launch pads and all of the other previous rounds are sold out. Now, if you miss out on the opportunity here with the token fi uh, launch pad, remember April 2nd, they will be launching on Uniswap on the Arbitrum network. And you can go ahead and get that from one of our favorite DEXs very simply 
very cheaply. There will be more information on the launch plan, the launch strategy as time presents itself, and also for all of you token fi individuals, you guys will be able to get your tokens on the de de designated vesting schedule that will be pre presented to you after this launch pad raise is over. So exciting times for token fi, exciting times for token holders, and yes, you guys are going to be getting in on the ground floor of a brand new gem in the RWA sector that is going to be working exclusively with token fi, with Floki, and with the project products they have built. That is the token fi launch pad, that is the Floki fi locker, and we'll see what other kind of collaborations these three come up with in the future. Thank you very much. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Hit that follow button. And yes, this is the last opportunity to get in the Yaks token in the public round before the April 2nd launch. Uh, TGE, timing still be to be determined. Stay tuned on the YakDAO official Twitter for that. Launched on Uniswap on Arbitrum Network. Peace!